Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden has announced a 6.6 .6 billion U.S. dollar grant to Taiwan's top chip manufacturer for semiconductor production in Arizona, which includes a third facility that will bring the tech giant's investment in the U.S. state to 65 billion U.S. dollars. Voice of America's White House correspondent Anita Powell reports. A single semiconductor transistor is smaller than a grain of sand. But billions of them, packed neatly together on a chip, can connect the world, control weapons of war, and someday even drive your car. But U.S. production of this American-born technology has fallen off in recent decades. As a nation, we used to produce 40 percent microchips for the whole world. Now we have produced less than 10 percent. Biden administration announced $6.6 .6 billion in funding for the world's top chip maker to build a third facility in the state of Arizona. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company says it will put the U.S. on track to produce 20 percent of the world's leading-edge semiconductors by the end of the decade. The funding comes from the bipartisan 2022 Chips and Science Act, which President Joe Biden highlighted that year in a visit to TSMC's first Arizona facility. America Manufacturing is back, folks. America Manufacturing is back. Engineers say the legislation addresses a key weakness in American chip manufacturing. We've just gotten in this cycle of the last 15 to 20 years where innovation has slowed down. It's all about financial results, um, investor payouts and stock buybacks. And we've, we've lost that innovation muscle. And the CHIPS Act, pulling that together with the CHIPS Act is the perfect opportunity to restore that. But they say America urgently needs talent. The White House says this new investment could create 25,000 construction and manufacturing jobs. Are there enough workers to feed this need? Our engineering college is the largest in the country with over 33,000 enrolled students. And still we're hearing from uh, companies across the semiconductor industry that they're not able to get the talent that they need in time. TSMC in 2022 broke ground on a facility that makes some of the world's most advanced chips. With each jump, chip production can get more and more complex and expensive. Can the country that made the mighty chip keep up? Biden's betting on it. For Levi Stallings in Flagstaff, Arizona, Anita Powell, VOA News, Washington.